Before his passing, Burt Reynolds shocked fans by revealing surprising truths about his longtime friend, Johnny Carson. The two icons had a relationship that went far beyond what audiences saw during Reynolds' many appearances on The Tonight Show. Rumors had circulated for years about Carson's unusual habits and the strict rules he expected his guests to follow. From his aversion to physical contact to his meticulous protection of certain personal items, Carson's behavior behind the scenes was the subject of much speculation. Carson was a man of contradictions, and Reynolds revealed what audiences saw during those iconic interviews was only a fraction of the real Johnny Carson. This is the story of two Hollywood greats, their unforgettable moments together, and the untold truth about the man who ruled late-night TV. Burt Reynolds, From Rising Star to Hollywood Icon By the early 1970s, Burt Reynolds had already carved out a place for himself in Hollywood, emerging as one of the most charismatic and bankable stars of the era. With his rugged good looks, signature mustache, and undeniable talent, Reynolds quickly captured the attention of audiences across the country. His roles in action-packed and dramatic films, combined with his charm and natural charisma, made him a household name. But it wasn't just his presence on the silver screen that defined him. His off-screen wit and storytelling ability also played a key role in his rise to fame. Reynolds' rise to stardom wasn't instantaneous, but by the early 70s, he was undoubtedly a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. His journey to becoming a leading man was filled with determination, hard work, and a willingness to take on diverse roles. Early in his career, Reynolds dabbled in television and B-movies, slowly building his resume and honing his craft. His breakout moment came with the release of Deliverance in 1972, a role that would forever cement his place in Hollywood history. Deliverance, 1972, a career-defining role. The film Deliverance was a pivotal moment for Reynolds. Starring alongside John Voight, Reynolds played the role of Lewis Medlock, a survivalist leading a group of friends on a canoe trip through the remote Georgia wilderness. The film, which was both a critical and commercial success, showcased Reynolds' range as an actor, proving that he could handle intense, dramatic roles with as much finesse as lighter, more comedic ones. Deliverance wasn't just a hit, it was a turning point for Reynolds. The film's raw depiction of survival in the wilderness, combined with its gripping storyline and memorable performances, earned widespread acclaim. It received multiple Academy Award nominations and introduced Reynolds to a wider audience, including critics who began to take him more seriously as an actor. His portrayal of the tough yet deeply vulnerable, Lewis Medlock was hailed as a standout performance, showing a side of Reynolds that audiences hadn't seen before. The success of Deliverance was the catalyst that propelled Reynolds to the A-list, and suddenly he was no longer just a rising star, he was a bona fide leading man. Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, the birth of a Hollywood legend. While Deliverance showcased Reynolds' dramatic chops, it was Smokey and the Bandit in 1977 that cemented his status as a Hollywood legend. The film, which combined action, comedy, and romance, played to Reynolds' strengths, allowing him to display his charm, wit, and charisma in full force. As the bandit, a smooth-talking trucker on a mission to transport illegal beer across state lines, Reynolds created an iconic character that resonated with audiences and became synonymous with his image. Smokey and the Bandit was an instant hit raking in over $300 million at the box office worldwide, a remarkable feat for the time. It became one of the highest grossing films of 1977, second only to Star Wars. This role further established Reynolds as a major box office draw, combining his undeniable sex appeal with his knack for comedic timing. By this point, Burt Reynolds was not just a popular actor, he was a cultural phenomenon. His image as the charming, mustachioed heartthrob was everywhere. He graced the covers of magazines, starred in high-profile movies, and became one of the most recognizable faces in Hollywood. However, it wasn't just his roles that made him famous. 
It was also his larger-than-life personality. Landing a spot on The Tonight Show In the early 1970s, appearing on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson was far more than just a promotional stop for actors and entertainers. It was a career milestone that every Hollywood star aspired to reach. Hosted by Johnny Carson, who had taken over the show in 1962, the late-night program was the premier platform for celebrities to engage with the American public. Carson was more than just a host. He was the gatekeeper of pop culture. A single appearance on his show had the power to make or break an entertainer's career. For rising stars like Burt Reynolds, an invitation to sit on Carson's iconic couch wasn't just flattering. It was a defining moment in their career trajectory. Carson's influence in Hollywood extended far beyond the confines of late-night television. He had a rare ability to set the tone for the entertainment industry, and his opinion carried weight. If Johnny Carson liked you, the rest of Hollywood followed suit. His approval could turn a rising actor into a household name almost overnight. Conversely, a lackluster appearance on his show could stall a budding career. Being funny, personable, and charismatic on The Tonight Show wasn't just an option. It was a necessity for any guest who wanted to capitalize on the exposure. By the time Burt Reynolds was invited to appear on The Tonight Show, he had already started to gain momentum in Hollywood with films like Deliverance, 1972, and Smokey and the Bandit, 1977, boosting his profile. However, he understood that to truly solidify his place in American pop culture, he needed to charm not only the movie-going audience, but also the millions of viewers who tuned in to watch Carson every night. Reynolds' first appearance on The Tonight Show was more than an opportunity to promote his films. It was a platform to show the world who he really was, beyond the roles he played on screen. Reynolds' first appearance wasn't just about plugging his latest project. It was a chance to reveal his off-screen personality, his humor, his wit, and his magnetic charm. Carson's show allowed audiences to see the real person behind the Hollywood star, and Reynolds seized this opportunity. His natural ease on camera, combined with his storytelling abilities, instantly resonated with viewers. The laid-back format of the show, coupled with Carson's playful interviewing style, allowed Reynolds to shine. He quickly became a fan favorite, not just because of his good looks or acting talent, but because of the genuine, relatable persona he exuded on air. Johnny Carson, the king of late-night television. By the time Burt Reynolds appeared on The Tonight Show, Johnny Carson had already cemented his legacy as the king of late-night television. Having taken over from Jack Parr in 1962, Carson transformed the late-night format, blending sharp wit, conversational interviews, and a calm, laid-back style that drew viewers in. Under his stewardship, The Tonight Show became more than just a talk show. It became a cultural institution. Whether it was comedians, musicians, or actors, anyone who was anyone in Hollywood wanted to be on Carson's show. Carson's success wasn't just due to his talent as a comedian. It was also due to his skill as an interviewer. He had an uncanny ability to put his guests at ease while still drawing out entertaining, often revealing moments. Carson could seamlessly switch from lighthearted jokes to more serious conversations, depending on the guest and the situation. His style was polished, but never forced, which made The Tonight Show feel spontaneous and genuine, even when it was carefully planned. Carson's reach was immense. His audience was consistently in the millions, and his influence was unmatched. By the 1970s, Carson was considered one of the most powerful figures in television. He had an almost magical ability to shape public perception, and as a result, his show became the place for celebrities to reveal their personal side. The biggest stars in the world lined up for the opportunity to sit across from Carson, knowing that a successful appearance on his show could take their career to new heights. Burt Reynolds, a star rises on late night. For Burt Reynolds, his appearances on The Tonight Show weren't just about promoting his movies. They were about demonstrating his versatility as an entertainer. While Deliverance and Smokey and the Bandit showcased his acting chops, 
The Tonight Show gave him the chance to show that he could be more than just a film star. Reynolds wasn't just acting when he was on Carson's couch, he was being himself. His natural wit and charisma shone through, and it wasn't long before audiences were tuning in specifically to watch his appearances. The chemistry between Reynolds and Carson was undeniable from the start. Carson's laid-back approach and quick wit were the perfect complement to Reynolds's larger-than-life personality. Reynolds wasn't afraid to push boundaries, often going off-script and introducing spontaneous humor into the interviews. Carson, known for his ability to handle unpredictable guests, not only rolled with the punches, but actively encouraged Reynolds' playful antics. The dynamic between the two men made for compelling television, and every appearance Reynolds made became must-see TV. As a guest, Reynolds brought energy, unpredictability, and a sense of fun to the show. Whether he was sharing humorous anecdotes from his time on movie sets, engaging in playful banter with Carson, or participating in unexpected pranks, Reynolds knew how to captivate an audience. His appearances felt less like interviews and more like two friends catching up, which made the interactions feel authentic and unscripted. This kind of connection between host and guest was rare, and it helped elevate Reynolds to a level of stardom that few actors ever achieve. The Chemistry with Johnny Carson Reynolds and Carson shared a mutual respect for each other's comedic styles. Carson appreciated Reynolds' fearless approach to interviews, while Reynolds admired Carson's professionalism and ability to create unforgettable moments on live television. The two men understood that The Tonight Show wasn't just about answering questions, it was about creating magic on screen. They thrived off each other's energy, often engaging in spontaneous banter that left audiences in stitches. Reynolds wasn't afraid to challenge Carson or push the boundaries of what a typical interview could be. He understood that unpredictability was a key ingredient in great television, and he used his appearances on The Tonight Show to showcase his quick wit and comedic timing. Carson, for his part, loved the challenge that Reynolds presented. He knew how to stay composed while allowing Reynolds to take the spotlight, and this balance between structure and spontaneity was what made their interactions so special. By the mid-1970s, Burt Reynolds had established himself not just as a movie star, but as a late-night television fixture. His appearances on The Tonight Show became a staple of American entertainment, with fans eagerly awaiting the next time he would join Carson for another round of laughter and stories. Reynolds' ability to connect with audiences across multiple platforms, whether through his films or his talk show appearances, made him one of the most versatile and beloved entertainers of his time. Reynolds' frequent appearances on The Tonight Show solidified his status as a cultural icon. His charm, humor, and ease in front of the camera endeared him to millions of viewers, helping him become one of Hollywood's most bankable stars. Ultimately, Reynolds' success on the show, paired with his box office appeal, helped shape his legacy as one of the most influential entertainers of his generation. When Reynolds first arrived at The Tonight Show set, he felt the pressure. Having done the rounds on various talk shows, he was familiar with the format. But something about Carson's aura made this appearance feel different. As soon as they met backstage, Reynolds sensed an underlying tension. Carson, known for his quick wit and easygoing persona in front of the camera, appeared more reserved and distant in private. The interaction felt stilted, and Reynolds wasn't quite sure what to make of it. However, being a man with a rebellious streak, Reynolds wasn't deterred. If anything, he saw this as a challenge. He would find a way to make his mark on the show, even if it meant bending the rules a bit. Johnny Carson and Burt Reynolds forged an on-screen relationship that stood out in late-night television history. At the heart of this dynamic was mutual respect. Carson admired Reynolds for his daring, unpredictable nature, while Reynolds appreciated Carson's skill in handling any situation with poise. Together, their interactions combined humor with quick wit and impeccable timing.
making every moment captivating. Their chemistry was a major draw for audiences, but it wasn't just the jokes that kept people coming back, it was the genuine connection between the two. Unlike the scripted and often predictable interactions of other late-night hosts and their guests, Carson and Reynolds made every appearance feel unscripted and spontaneous. The unpredictability of their exchanges meant that viewers were always in for a surprise. Despite his laid-back appearance on stage, Carson had a well-known set of unspoken rules that guests were expected to follow. These rules weren't made public, but those who worked closely with Carson, as well as frequent guests, were familiar with them. Among the most notable was Carson's aversion to being touched. He liked to maintain a respectful distance from his guests, and any physical interaction, especially anything unplanned, was likely to unsettle him. This preference for personal space wasn't the only quirk. Carson was also notoriously protective of his on-set items, particularly the props on his desk. His pens, for example, were off-limits to anyone but him. They were more than just props. They were part of his routine, a symbol of the control he had over the flow of the show. Similarly, his hair was another sensitive topic. Guests were warned not to mess with his meticulously styled hair, as Carson placed a great deal of importance on his appearance. Carson's desire for control over the set extended to how he managed the atmosphere of the show. He was a master at maintaining a sense of calm and control, even when things went off script. But to ensure this balance, guests were expected to respect his boundaries. When they didn't, Carson's response could be subtle but unmistakable. He never lost his cool on camera, but those who worked behind the scenes could often tell when a guest had crossed a line. For Carson, control was key, and any disruption to that control, whether it was touching his personal items or veering off course, was not taken lightly. The Scissors Incident, A Night to Remember one of the most famous breaches of Carson's rules came during Burt Reynolds' guest appearance in what would become an iconic moment in late-night TV history. Reynolds, known for his playful and rebellious spirit, decided to take things to the next level during one of his visits to The Tonight Show. Without warning, Reynolds pulled out a pair of scissors and swiftly cut Carson's tie in half. The audience's reaction was immediate. They gasped in surprise before breaking into laughter. Cutting Carson's tie was a bold move. Everyone knew how particular Carson was about his appearance, and this prank crossed one of his cardinal rules. The tension in the room was palpable as the audience waited to see how Carson would respond. Carson, ever the professional, maintained his calm exterior. He delivered one of his signature deadpan stares straight into the camera, a move that had become one of his trademarks. The silence that followed made the moment even funnier, as the audience couldn't help but laugh at Carson's measured reaction. But the moment didn't end there. Refusing to be outdone, Carson grabbed the scissors from Reynolds and, with a sly smile, proceeded to cut off a piece of Reynolds' clothing in retaliation. This back-and-forth exchange turned what could have been an awkward, tense moment into one of the most entertaining segments in late-night television. Carson and Reynolds' ability to roll with the punches and turn a potentially disruptive moment into comedy gold highlighted their unique chemistry and ability to improvise. While the scissors incident became an iconic moment in television, what happened behind the scenes painted a more complex picture. For the audience, it was just a hilarious prank, but for Johnny Carson, it wasn't so simple. According to crew members who were present that night, Carson wasn't happy after the cameras stopped rolling. He was known for keeping his emotions in check, but it was clear that Reynolds' prank had struck a nerve. To Carson, his tie wasn't just a piece of clothing. It was part of his carefully maintained on-screen image. The prank may have been funny for viewers, but it disrupted the control Carson valued so much. While he didn't let his frustration show on air, those close to him knew that the prank had crossed a line. Carson was known to hold on to such moments, and while he didn't lash out publicly, there was a lingering sense that the relationship between the two men had changed. Despite the tension, 
Carson continued to work with Reynolds in the years that followed, though there were rumors that the incident had created a small rift between them. Carson's professionalism kept the friction from becoming public knowledge. But behind the scenes, it was clear that Reynolds' prank had left a lasting impression. The scissors incident was a perfect example of the dichotomy between Johnny Carson's public and private personas. On screen, Carson was the ultimate professional, calm, collected, and quick with a joke. He had a way of handling even the most unexpected situations with ease, turning chaos into comedy in a way that few hosts could match. Off screen, however, Carson was much more reserved. He was private, particular, and at times, deeply introspective. He valued control and routine, and any disruption to that balance could unsettle him. This contrast between the public and private Carson wasn't something that audiences typically saw, but moments like the scissors prank provided a glimpse into the complexities of his character. Carson's ability to separate his public persona from his private life was one of the reasons he was so successful. He could maintain his composure on stage even when things went wrong, but once the cameras stopped rolling, he preferred a more structured and predictable environment. The prank with Reynolds, while entertaining, was a rare moment where these two sides of Carson's personality collided. The scissors incident between Burt Reynolds and Johnny Carson is still talked about to this day, not only because it was funny, but because it revealed so much about the relationship between two of Hollywood's biggest personalities. Reynolds' rebellious nature and Carson's need for control created a dynamic that was both entertaining and at times tense. The incident also highlighted Carson's unique ability to handle whatever came his way, even when it disrupted the carefully controlled environment he had created. His professionalism allowed him to turn what could have been a disastrous moment into one of the most iconic segments in late night history. But behind that professionalism was a man who valued structure and was not easily rattled, except in moments like this. For Burt Reynolds, the scissors prank was just another example of his bold, unpredictable style. He loved pushing boundaries, and The Tonight Show gave him the perfect platform to do that. But while Reynolds thrived on unpredictability, Carson valued control, and this difference between the two men created a fascinating tension that made their interactions all the more compelling. Despite the tension caused by the scissors prank, the relationship between Johnny Carson and Burt Reynolds remained one built on mutual respect. Both men admired each other's talents, and while their personalities may have clashed at times, they shared a deep understanding of what it meant to entertain. Carson recognized that Reynolds was one of the few guests who could challenge him in unexpected ways, and Reynolds knew that Carson was a master of his craft, able to turn any situation into a memorable moment. Their on-screen chemistry was a testament to their shared professionalism and their ability to make even the most unpredictable moments feel authentic. The scissors incident may have been a breach of Carson's rules, but it also solidified the unique dynamic between the two men, a dynamic that has left a lasting impact on late-night television. A dynamic duo, why their on-screen chemistry worked. The magic of Reynolds and Carson wasn't just in their pranks or one-off moments. There was an authentic connection between the two that resonated with viewers. Reynolds wasn't afraid to challenge Carson or push boundaries, and Carson, despite his initial hesitation, learned to embrace it. Where many talk show hosts might have been rattled by a guest going off script, Carson saw it as an opportunity to elevate the humor. Carson's ability to play the straight man to Reynolds' wild antics was what made their interactions so entertaining. He knew how to stay composed while still allowing Reynolds to shine. This mutual respect allowed their banter to feel effortless, even when the chaos was in full swing. Audiences loved their exchanges because they felt real. Two entertainers at the top of their game, having fun and not afraid to go off the rails. Despite their on-screen camaraderie, Carson remained a bit of an enigma. While Reynolds grew fond of Carson over the years, he never fully cracked the late-night host's tough exterior. 
Carson's standoffish nature was well known in Hollywood circles, and many who worked closely with him often spoke about his complex personality. Off camera, Carson was notoriously private and maintained strict boundaries with guests and even his staff. He was known for being meticulous about his routines and habits, and any deviation from that could throw him off. Reynolds, with his natural inclination for rebellion, seemed to be one of the few people who could get Carson to loosen up, at least for a while. In the years leading up to his death, Burt Reynolds shared many stories about his time in Hollywood. But one revelation about Johnny Carson stood out. It wasn't just about Carson's rules or quirks. It was about their mutual respect for each other as performers. Despite their differences, Reynolds and Carson understood that their dynamic was special. Reynolds hinted that Carson, while guarded and tough to know, had a deep appreciation for those who could match his wit and push the envelope. It was this mutual understanding that made their relationship so compelling to watch. Over the years, Burt Reynolds and Johnny Carson captivated audiences with their unforgettable on-screen interactions. Their dynamic wasn't just about humor and pranks, but a deep mutual respect that made their late-night moments iconic. Carson, the smooth and polished host, appreciated Reynolds' daring unpredictability, while Reynolds admired Carson's ability to maintain control no matter the situation. Reynolds' frequent appearances on The Tonight Show stood out from typical talk show interviews. His interactions with Carson felt fresh and unscripted, keeping audiences entertained with their lively banter and playful energy. While most guests followed Carson's lead, Reynolds brought an element of surprise that only someone with his bold personality could manage. By the time Burt Reynolds became a regular guest on The Tonight Show, he had already solidified his status as one of Hollywood's leading men, with movies like Deliverance (1972) and Smokey and the Bandit (1977). Reynolds' charm and rugged good looks made him a household name. But beyond his roles in film, it was Reynolds' ability to entertain and command attention in interviews that made him a favorite with Carson's audience. For Reynolds, being invited onto Carson's show meant more than just promoting his latest projects. The Tonight Show was an influential platform, a stage where a star's reputation could be shaped by Carson's approval or disapproval. Reynolds knew the significance of being on the show and saw each appearance as an opportunity to show off his sharp wit and storytelling skills. But this wasn't without its challenges. The relationship between Johnny Carson and Burt Reynolds represented more than just a series of memorable interviews. It symbolized the golden era of late-night television. Their interactions embodied the unscripted, unpredictable magic that viewers craved during a time when television was still evolving into the format we know today. Their friendship wasn't just a display of humor and pranks. It was a reflection of the complexities of Hollywood relationships. Both men had carefully crafted public personas, Carson as the king of calm wit and charm, and Reynolds as the daring, rebellious actor. Behind these personas, however, were two men navigating the pressures of fame, public scrutiny, and the need to maintain their privacy. Their bond, though filled with humor, was also marked by moments of tension, misunderstandings, and boundaries being pushed. Yet, through it all, there was an underlying sense of mutual respect. In a world as competitive and ego-driven as Hollywood, their friendship was a testament to the idea that genuine connections could still emerge amidst the pressures of show business. Johnny Carson was a trailblazer who set the standard for what a late-night host could be. His sharp wit, paired with a calm and relaxed style, allowed his guests to take center stage, creating moments that felt genuine and unscripted. Burt Reynolds, on the other hand, brought an air of unpredictability to his appearances. Rather than adhering to the typical format of an interview, Reynolds often transformed his segments into comedic events. Together, these two icons shaped an era of late-night television, making it feel more spontaneous and authentic. Their interactions went beyond the standard guest-host relationship, offering a natural chemistry that was rare in television. 
Reynolds' larger-than-life persona clashed perfectly with Carson's cool, measured demeanor, leading to moments that felt as if anything could happen. It was this sense of unpredictability and genuine connection that audiences found so compelling. Carson's steady hand and Reynolds' wild energy created a formula that many would attempt to replicate, but rarely succeeded in matching. Carson's ability to adapt to any guest, combined with Reynolds' habit of pushing the boundaries, resulted in unforgettable television. Reynolds wasn't afraid to break the rules, and Carson, for all his calm exterior, knew how to handle those disruptions with grace. This balance between control and chaos became a key part of their charm. When Reynolds appeared on The Tonight Show, viewers knew they were in for something memorable, even if they couldn't predict what form that would take. What made their interactions particularly special was the sense that none of it was rehearsed. In a time when much of television felt overly scripted and polished, the Carson-Reynolds dynamic stood out for its spontaneity. Whether it was through playful pranks, witty banter, or unscripted moments of humor, their exchanges felt raw and real. It was the kind of television magic that can only happen when two performers have a genuine connection. The chemistry between Carson and Reynolds left a lasting impression, not just on audiences, but on the future of late-night TV. The combination of Carson's sharp wit and Reynolds' unpredictability influenced how talk shows would be conducted in the years that followed. Their interactions became a blueprint for future hosts and guests, showcasing how authentic moments, sometimes filled with tension, could lead to the best entertainment. As television continued to evolve, Carson and Reynolds demonstrated that the most memorable moments weren't always the polished ones. Future late-night hosts, from David Letterman to Conan O'Brien, took cues from Carson's ability to maintain control while letting guests like Reynolds inject unpredictability into the mix. The late-night format began to shift, becoming less about structured interviews and more about creating moments of genuine interaction between the host and guest. Reynolds' Reflection on Their Relationship as Burt Reynolds grew older, he became more introspective about his career and the relationships he had built in Hollywood, including his bond with Johnny Carson. In one emotional interview, Reynolds opened up about the complexities of their friendship. He spoke candidly about how, while their on-screen chemistry was undeniable, their off-screen relationship had its ups and downs. Reynolds confessed that while the infamous Scissors incident was funny in the moment, he later realized it might have affected his relationship with Carson more than he had originally thought. Carson, ever the consummate professional, never publicly acknowledged any tension. But those who knew him well knew that he valued certain boundaries, boundaries that Reynolds had occasionally crossed. Still, despite the occasional tension, Reynolds expressed deep admiration for Carson. He recognized that Carson was a man who maintained emotional distance, even with his friends, but that didn't diminish the respect they had for each other. Reynolds often spoke fondly of their time together on The Tonight Show, understanding that their dynamic, while complicated, was something truly special. A Legacy of Authenticity and Influence The friendship between Johnny Carson and Burt Reynolds was a reflection of the larger world of Hollywood where relationships are often as complex as the personas actors and hosts create for themselves. Both men were icons in their own right, navigating fame, public scrutiny, and the pressures of maintaining their images. But behind the cameras, they were also two individuals with personal preferences, boundaries, and a friendship that wasn't always as it appeared to the public. Their relationship, though marked by moments of tension and boundary pushing, was ultimately built on mutual respect. The playful pranks, the laughter, and the occasional friction were all part of a bond that grew over the years. And while their friendship may not have been perfect, it was a reminder that even in the cutthroat world of Hollywood, genuine connections could exist, even if they were complicated. Burt Reynolds' later reflections on Johnny Carson gave fans a deeper understanding of what their relationship was really like. It wasn't just about the pranks and the laughs. It was about two men who, 
despite their differences, found a way to create magic on television. The lasting impact of their interactions on The Tonight Show goes far beyond the entertainment they provided. Carson and Reynolds set a standard for future late-night hosts and guests, showing that the most memorable television moments come from authenticity, even when tensions run high. Their legacy reminds us that, in the world of show business, it's the genuine, unscripted moments that truly stand the test of time.